This is stone. Stone that the bottom of the river. He no know said the sun at that dark. Me said the stone at the bottom of the river. He no know said the sun at that dark. Her world defied parochialism. Her world transcended narrow boundaries. Her world transcended national borders. It was a compassionate rebuke to narrow racial and cultural divide. The Daily Chronicle in January 1934 listed bargains in trucks and cars as follows. Chevrolet with four new tires and battery, $350. A Chevrolet 1929 half-ton truck, $275. Walcott's Omeros is dedicated to put shipmates in the craft. The craft not being only the craft of poetry, but also the slave and coolie boats which brought us to the Caribbean in the days of Elizabeth I and eventually landed us in England in the days of Elizabeth II. I make colour poems of an easy choosing, trying to forget, forgive. Everyone is familiar with the old saying that sampling lava and creek water will bring you back to our shores. But I have a new one to add to that. If you bathe in the clear turquoise pools of the North Pacaraima Mountains, you will never leave behind in the first place. And James said this, look, we have no great ancestral cultures to go back to in the region. We are a unique people. That we were brought, we came here either voluntary or involuntary, involuntarily. So we're not going back anywhere. What we have got is essentially what we have taken out of our British colonial experience. And we're going to make that work. Why did it matter that then we turned on the water taps? We got Coca-Cola coming out. We had gold and diamonds in the interior. You simply had to be brave enough to go in there and get lucky like Diamond Jokes. Now you see that image of vastness, of inexhaustible potential, simply there, needing neither good husbandry nor concern, was and is a fiction. And it is that Eldoradan mindset, which still encourages the exploitation, pollution, and destruction of power and the world's natural resources, including the air we breathe. And it was about an idea of, well, if people are trying to package me as well, we don't know where you come from, we don't know where to fit you, fine, I will package myself. And moving on from that, this is what came about. Um, I started making these massive cardboard um, environments. Now, this is cardboard pallet, it was made in 2002. So this was a very important development. I had never seen or heard of people like poets gathering together and sharing work and publishing work and printing work because writing is most times a very solitary job. Recently, I paid a dollar fifty US in Orlando, Florida for a medium glass of mommy that had enough ice to sink the Titanic. <laughs> when we played Roger Harper, who played for about three years, three or four years when I was there, we had the perfect side. We had the batting, we had bowling, we had field. The, it was the, the perfect uh, team for us. We decided that we would repay the Delphi boys. So we invite them to Mississippi. But City Star, that was their club, had no money, not a blind cent in the till. But we had to put on a show. Each one of us, I remember, went and stole one of our own fowls. 